hi everyone welcome to my channel if you're new please kindly subscribe in this video today i'm going to show you how you can customize and modify your wiring harness for the market radio in a kia sorento 2011 where you can retain the steering wheel control for an aftermarket radio and you can see i have uh android Ed unit um, that i'm gonna be installing in this car and um, i'm gonna be using an aftermarket wiring harness to retain my steering wheel control i don't need to buy any special cam box and the wiring harness i'm gonna be using is just a simple metro wiring harness 70-7303 harness this is an uh, aftermarket wiring harness you can buy on um, amazon it's less than 15 dollars i will show you how you can use this wiring harness to retain um the steering wheel control of a kia sorento like this or you have another kia that have similar wiring harness and you would not need to buy any special cam balls to do this so i haven't said all this so let's get ready i'll take you and show you how to actually customize your wire so like I mentioned, uh, you're going to need a Metro Harness 70-7303 Harness. You can buy this on Amazon, eBay or online. Um, it's less than $15 and you're going to need uh, this wiring diagram here. I'm going to be leaving a link to get this in my description box. And uh, this is the wiring harness and this is how it is on um, the diagram. You see connector a and b at the black ones and then the connector c which is at the top that is the one i have here that's where we have the um, steering wheel control harness and the steering wheel um, control is on pin 16 and the steering wheel control ground is on pin 17 so if you count the pins uh, one down to 20 on pin 16 and 17 uh the wires are missing in there and if you can see pin 16 is the steering wheel control positive and 17 is the steering wheel control ground those wires uh those pins are missing in the connector c which i have right now you can see if you count again um pin 15 and pin 16 are missing those um those slots are missing the pin so that is what you need to watch out and that's what i'm going to show you how you can actually work it out but in this harness it has um something on pin 18 and for kia sorento that is um, not needed so i only need to be able to put wire in pin 16 and 17 so what i'm going to be doing right now i would de pin the wire the blue this blue wire i have on pin 18 i will remove it and i will swap it into one of my slots so i will depin that that's what i'm pointing so to depin is just easy all you need to do again um if you have extra wires like this i'm just gonna depin one of it i can cut one out and then uh, that's what i've done and that's where i got this um pink wire with the pin i'm gonna be using that for my ground so to the pin all you just have to do is to push push find something sharp and then push the pins you have to push it and pull the wire so you have to push something to the pin and then pull the wire from behind it will come out just like this it's not easy if anybody tells you it's gonna come out easily no you just have to push and pull and since i have two wires with pin now all i'm gonna do is to put them in the right slot my blue wire i will put it in pin 16 which is gonna be the steering wheel control positive and the pink wire i will be putting it in pin 17 so that's what i'm about to do like i said the blue one this one particular one i'll be putting in pin uh slot number 16 and that will represent my steering wheel control positive what you just gotta do is to push and pull it until it snap in there and you can see right now i have wire 
in slot 16 now which is going to represent my steering wheel control positive and i'll pick up the pink wire i'll be putting it in uh slot 17 which is going to represent the steering wheel control ground and you can see i'll push it also in and make sure it's not in there and now i purposely have wires on pin 16 and 17. if i count you can see i have now wire um, pins available in slot 16 and 17 now so i can go ahead and now customize my um, wiring harness to retain steering wheel control for my kia sorento so like i said um this is all you're going to need if you if anybody uh, needs an assistance you can email me or um follow me on instagram and i'll i can actually help you to do the customization of wiring so at this point all i would need is just to join everything color for color i have videos on how to do this you can watch all the one of my videos on how to uh, do the wiring but the only thing i'll be doing special is the steering wheel control um, wiring for ikea sorrento I have a video on how to do this so but one thing I want to mention is the ground wire I have the key one and key two for steering wheel control coming from the uh, radio harness and at the same time the ground wire so with my connector C where I have the steering wheel control I'll be joining the blue one which is the steering wheel control positive I'll be joining it with key one of the uh, radio harness I won't be using pin uh, key two I'll only be using key one and that is what I'll be joining to uh, pick a signal for my steering wheel control like I said it'll be joined to key one and for the ground of the connector C I will be joining it to the black wire the two ground wires coming from the harness of the radio and the one going into the car so I'm gonna have a three joint over there to complete the ground for my steering wheel and so far this is all I've done and uh, you can see I've done everything together and um, that is what I'm going to be using for my car and if you follow this through you successfully customize your wiring harness to retain steering wheel control in a Kia Sorento radio so you can see this is my key 2 I didn't use it and at the same time I have the, the back which is for the reverse camera and I'll use a um, insulation tape just to hold everything together so they don't fall off So as you can see everything is looking good um, this is the 16 pin that will go into the back of the radio just like this and the rest of the pigtail will just go into my car so let me take you into the car and show you how I've done it now this is the car I've um, put apart the console taking uh, the radio out and you can see these are the wiring harness coming from the car right and this is where i'm gonna be plugging in um, the customized wiring harness i just did the pigtail for for the steering wheel control i'm gonna plug it in everything should plug straight in and um there should be no problem at all and for the power and audio you just have to make sure you snap everything in there and you're gonna have a, you're gonna hear a click sound when they're all snapped in and that's all you need to do
so once every, all the harness are snapped in you can see it's successfully in the next thing i just need to do is to plug my radio bring my radio forward and, and plug it into the harness and once that is done i will hang the radio i will test uh, start the car to test the radio and um this radio i must mention this is from road envy they send me this huge 10 point two screen i'll leave a link to purchase the radio in the description box as well so now let's go ahead and start the car uh, you can see this is android 12 this is a very beautiful screen and now uh, let's go to the steering wheel control app where i can customize the steering wheel control and you will see that it actually works so to start i will push the button i want to customize uh, you can see it's flashing a blue light right on my uh, steering wheel control. I'll press the corresponding button and it becomes uh, solid blue, right? And that is what I'm going to do going forward for all the rest of the button. Customize them as, as in respective to the button as I want them to respond. Now that I'm finished with the customization of my steering wheel, let's go ahead and test it. So you see, you can see how the steering wheel control is working. And like I said, you don't need any special cam balls to do this. You just have to buy the Metro harness um, on Amazon or in the link below, which I'll be sharing with you. And you, you're there. You retain your steering wheel control. There's no nothing special you need to do. now if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up thank you and see you again sometime